the vehicle may not be loaded. Measure all three profile depths on all of the tires and write down the values. Inspect the wheels and tires for damage. Then check the tire pressure on all wheels. Write down these measurements too. Then inspect the suspension for damage or any signs of wear. If you find anything, repair this first of all. You can find four adjustment plates on all of the mountings for the front and rear axles. The plates are numbered. Write down the numbers. Two plates with the same number are mounted on every bolt. Here you only need one number per bolt. Raise the vehicle up to a suitable height. And set up the measuring equipment. Attach the brackets for the measurement mirror on all four wheels. Ensure that they're mounted correctly. Then mount each mirror to the assigned position. The parking brake must be disengaged. Put the transmission in N. Use a spreader to keep the brake pedal depressed. Then remove the bolts for the measurement platform on all four wheels so that the vehicle stands freely and can move. Then calibrate the measurement mirrors. The level helps. Let's turn to the measurement terminal. Enter your name, the vehicle and all the other important data. Then select the vehicle type. Then continue with the tyre brand, tyre designation, and the mileage. Once done, enter the measured tyre pressure and the profile depth. The brackets and the mirrors are mounted. Now start with the initial measurement and follow the instructions shown on screen. During the course of the measurement, you have to repeatedly move the steering wheel back and forth. Ensure that you don't lean on the vehicle while doing so. Only move the steering wheel. Then straighten the wheels again and attach a track rod. Save the value and remove the track rod. Then measure the vehicle position on all axles. On the rear axle, make the measurement on the drive shaft. Remember the values or write them down.
Now enter the position of the axles and save the values. The calculation is made. And that's all. These are the results of the initial measurement. The red values are outside the tolerance. Now you have to adjust the wheels at these points. Print the values. Now you need the adjustment plates, which you mount on the corresponding axle mountings. The plates from 1 to 9 are included in every order. You also need new bolts. For the front, and rear axles. Along with the washers, and the hexagonal nuts. You have to order all the parts separately. You'll find out where to mount each plate with an axle measurement program. This is available on the internet on the After Sales platform. Log in and select the SLS AMG Suspension Adjustment Program under Workshop and Knowledge. Download the Mercedes AMG SLS Adjustment Assistant. This also requires the general vehicle data. Then enter the measured values and the installed adjustment plates. After the calculation, the program shows you which plates you have to replace on which mountings and which plates you should use. After replacing the adjustment plates, you then make a final measurement. The procedure is the same as the initial measurement. This Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG is once again back on track, even at high speeds.